Hi! I sure was excited to find the pretty faith-based Easter stamps at His Grace in the 2019 Stamp of Occasions catalog. And today I'm going to demonstrate for you a clean and simple Easter card I designed using it. My clean and simple His Grace card is very quick and easy to make, even with the extra step. I'm Shelley Godby, the owner and CEO of Stamping Smiles, and for 18 years I've been teaching others how to create their own hand stamp smiles. And I'm going to show you how using the Stamparatus made that extra step a breeze. Here's a closer view of the His Grace stamp set. Isn't this pretty? I love every stamp in here and the fonts that they use. Beautiful. Now my His Grace card, like I said, is clean and simple and very quick and easy to make, but you can make more elaborate cards like the sample here in the 2019 Stampin' of Occasions catalog. Here's the front of that catalog. Isn't that gorgeous too? Mm -mm. Mm. And so my card went through some different variations to get it to this very clean and simple. And I started off with Whisper White cardstock and ended up instead with Very Vanilla cardstock. Now I'm using Very Vanilla Thick because this is my card base and we want a nice sturdy card base. And the same with the Whisper White and the Very Vanilla cardstock in both the regular and the thick. The finish is designed to take ink for beautiful stamped images. And so I highly recommend you want to use, uh, when you want white or cream, use Whisper White or Very Vanilla. Okay, and so to make life easier, I'm using my Stamparatus because I'll be making a lot of these. This is for my March 2019 thank you card. And, and I'm stamping right on the front of it. And when I'm stamping, I always like to lay it flat. Well, what I love about the Stamparatus, look, I can just turn it because we've got these two open edges. So I can just turn it and there we go, go off the edge so I can stamp flat. And I want my magnets. And look, I bought new magnets. <laughs> if you've seen before, the very first time I used it, my magnets were broken. So we'll see how long this lasts. And so they store underneath. Let's put that one over there. Slide this one off. It works easier if you just slide them. Well, all right. They are super strong. Okay, so I'm just going to use a magnet to hold that. We'll put one up here for good measure. Hey, so far they're not broken. I'm really <laughs> thrilled. Okay, and so I have my one of my plates all set up with that stamp. Isn't that pretty? And so it's hinged and they come off. So I'll just put this right here. There we go. Let me pull this up so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to use the Highland Heather Classic Stampin' Pad, purple for royalty. All right. And open that up and slide. So let's ink this up. And then, let me pull it back so you can see better. In place. And then just press everywhere. And if we don't get a great image the first time, it's going to go back exactly where we put it. And those magnets are holding that in place. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Okay, so at this point, I want to use that greeting. Oh, gracious. Rejoicing in His grace. Like I said, so happy to have a faith-based stamp set for Easter. And uh, I could just stamp right on here, and that's what that would look like. But I wanted to step it up make it a little extra special. So let me show you what we're gonna do. We're going to, we're done with this for now. I have another piece of Very Vanilla cardstock. We're gonna use this as a template. So we're gonna hold this in place and ink it up again. Whoops, here we go. <laughs> with the Highland Heather. Okay. And I'll have a link to my blog post with all of the measurements. And this we're going to, like I said, use for a template in my Big Shot die cutting machine. I've got my Big Shot die cutting machine and the magnetic platform. This is an additional purchase, but one I highly recommend if you're going to use Framelitz dies. All right, and so, because it's going to hold the thin die in place for me as I die cut. So next, what I need, we need to build up our sandwich is a cutting pad, and then our cardstock that we just stamped, 
and I'm using the Layering Ovals Framelits dies. This one from the Layering Ovals Framelits. And because I want to be able to put my greeting on top and pop it up, but I want it to be part of the design. And the Stamparatus is going to make this really easy. So let's get this place right where we want it. That is looking really good. And then another cutting pad. Now the two cutting pads come with the purchase of a Big Shot, as well as the Big Shot platform. There we go. So now we're going to use this in the Stamparatus, okay? And this piece too, but when you're making multiples, what you're going to want to do is I've got a piece of very vanilla cardstock here. The other's thick. This is just very vanilla. And die cut my ovals. Okay. Because with a stamparatus, we will be able to stamp after die cutting. So that makes it really quick to do the die cutting because I don't have to try to be careful placing it. By making my template the same size as the front of my card, I don't have to move this stamp at all. Okay, so we've got that all set up and then the die cut piece, look, it just fits in there just like that. Perfect placement. So let's go again with the Highland Heather. All right, pick this up, slide, there we go. And a quick uh, swipe on my stamping sleeves in case I got ink on my hands because I really don't want to mess anything up at this point, that's for sure. Okay, and press. So we're going to end up with ink all over our template, but that's okay. Oh yeah, that looks good. What I really like about this, well, you'll see how it continues the image. Okay, so we've got that, and now I have another plate all set up for our greeting, Rejoicing in His Grace. Okay. Pick that up and stamp. Oh, just beautiful. And pick that out. Mm -mm -mm. So if you're making a whole lot of these like I will, like I will be, um, you could just do, you know, leave this here and do a whole bunch of ovals at one time and do your front separately. And, uh, but we're all set up because I just keep putting it down in the corner for the front and as well as for my template. Okay, so now let's do the inside of the card. I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I used every stamp. <laughs> so let's take this plate off. You can get additional plates, which is really nice. All right, and just put that in. You can order those separately. Um, when you get the Stamparatus, it comes with two plates and... Here, here we go. Here's this. We're not done with the outside yet, but let's go ahead and ink this up. And this one says, okay, here we go. It's just really nice when it's all set up. You know, you set up and then you're all set for the multiples. And another thing about this is you can get it straight. I don't know if you've ever made a card and then you do the greeting a little crooked and it's, you're like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> and uh, so it's either start over or hope they just don't even notice. Okay, so we are done with the Stamparatus. There we go. So let me put this aside. Well, let me show you. Um, never put both plates down, fold them in. That's just too much for it. You could do one, but not both. I take them both off and store it and those magnets will go back underneath. All right, so now we have this beautiful stamp and we're going to put this right over top and have it continue the design. And because we have the Stamparatus, it's all lined up. And uh, without the Stamparatus, you might get it crooked. And this is what makes it special is that continuation of the design. So we want to pop it up, give it some dimension and Stampin' Dimensionals will be perfect. So let's go ahead and I think that will be plenty. This is not a very big piece. And then I just need to slow down and make sure I hit that design where it isn't that cool how it completes it. But look, it's popped up. Let's compare that to just flat. Yeah, isn't that something? And so, like I said, a breeze with the Stamparatus. Okay, we're not done. I wanna do a little something more inside and, and then we're gonna decorate our envelope. So I've got 
um, may his precious gift be yours. And we have this dove. Oh, so again with the Highland Heather pad. Okay. I don't want to do this full strength. This is not a, a real large stamp, but I still want the same color. I've done monochromatic. So I'm going to do what we call stamp off. We're going to stamp off some of the ink, then come over here. Isn't that pretty? Mm -mm -mm. So that's our card. And then I thought, ooh, we're going to decorate our envelope. And this is how. We have this flower. Mm. All right, so we'll come down over here. This won't be in the way of uh, the name and address. Very pretty. And look how this is going to tuck in. God so loved the world, you know, John 3, 16. Right, and that is going to fit right in here. Oh, very, very nice. And then on the back flap, he is risen. That's what Easter's all about, right? Here we go. And I thought about the center, but I decided to come down there. So there we go. Let's go ahead and close our pad. A little push, pull on that lip, and a final swipe on our stamping sleeves. I really don't want to mess anything up at this point. And then there we have a clean and simple Easter card that was very quick and easy to make with the His Grace stamp set. If you'd like to make my Clean and Simple His Grace card, all the supplies are listed below the video and available to order now in my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. And remember, when you place your March 2019 Stampin' Up! order of $25 or more with me, I'm going to send you one of my Clean and Simple His Grace cards. So get on over now to my online store, www.shopwithshelly.com. I'm Shelly Godby, teaching you how to create hand stamp smiles. Thanks for watching.